Aquarius, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 18th through the 24th of November, ladies and gents. I hope you guys are having a lovely mid-month. What's going on with you guys? I'm going to tune into the overall energies here for Aquarius and get a general overview of what you guys are dealing with when it comes to matters of love. Let's get two more and chime in. One last shuffle. <clears throat> All right, let's go with the flow. Ten of coins, hmm. the moon energy, the four of cups, and the strength card. So, ladies and gents, there is a situation that may have seemed promising. But that promise seems to have just evaporated. We have the moon, which speaks of absolute obscurity. Furthermore, the four of cups speaks of isolation and dreadfulness. The strength speaks of somebody here refraining from taking action, as I am seeing it. So, let's see what's going on here with the moon energy. What's going on with the moon energy? Why is the moon here? This is all about clarifying the card number 18. 1 plus 8 equals 9, the 9 of wands. This is solitary energy. Somebody here is having a difficult time navigating the intricacies of their situation. However, this is something that is needed because there's massive learning lessons. You see, it is during separation and isolation that we have time to reflect, that we have time to scrutinize, to think. And this is what I see happening. I see somebody learning. I see someone being studious, analytical of their situation. They are clearing the fog. They are clearing the mist that is blocking them from clarity within themselves. What's going on here with the Four of Cups? The devil energy. You see, the Four of Cups is all about looking at a situation through a negative lens. All right, this is pessimism, ladies and gentlemen. Someone here is being very pessimistic in the way they're looking at the situation. And they're stuck on this. With the devil clarifying that, this individual sees, or rather, they don't see any other perspective. Okay, the idea would be the hangman. The hangman is someone that is upside down and looking at things for how they are. Looking at, or rather, the, ju the justice is another card that indicates cutting through bullshit and seeing things for what they are somebody here is just and that's the thing it's not about for how they are it's about your perspective because something can be absolutely shitty but your point of view is something that isn't serving you it's only further draining you or rather it is only draining you further so there needs to be a, a change in perspective Someone here is having a difficult time navigating, again, navigating the intricacies of their own mind. What's going on here with the strength card? Where, why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? We have the three of coins. The three of coins. All right. This is all about... Hmm... What are you telling me? Someone's coming forward? Is that what's taking place? The Nine of Coins. Not necessarily. The Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with a Leo, ladies and gents. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Others of you are dealing with a Cancer. Sagittarian energy as well. Okay, Queen of Cups. So, let me get one last card here for the Strength and we're going to deconstruct this. The Hermit. Somebody here really, really, I mean, I feel that both people want to give into this relationship. Both people want to communicate. Both people want to come together and see eye to eye. But both people seem to be in this hermit energy and refraining from giving in to that desire of seeing eye to eye and working together. That is what I'm seeing here, Capricorn, or rather Aquarius. Let's get, let's pull energy for you. Let's see what's going on with you. What's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? <clears throat> What's going on with Aquarius? Let's get three more shuffles. All right. We got the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Interesting. So your energy is telling me that you're absolutely disposed to bring about a new beginning. The tower here. 
it seems that Ca that Aquarius is willing to work on the situation. Oh, fuck. I'm itchy, guys. <clears throat> Anyways. So it seems that Aquarius is willing to work on the situation. Why is the Knight of Wands here? We did get the Strength card again. Leo energy. So what is this individual's King of Wands? Somebody here is quite passionate about you, Aquarius. All right, someone here's got a lot of attraction towards you. Hmm. And I feel that you got feelings for this individual. The Emperor. The Emperor clarifying the Queen of Cups. Interesting. Ten of Swords. Look, Aquarius, the, the Queen of Cups is someone that is very emotional. Someone here that has it's got feelings to give. All right. However, right off the bat, I got this masculine energy here from the Emperor. The Emperor is a, a card, a very assertive card. But this is not a very emotional card. Right? It would appear as the Empress if it was. As I looked further, again, this could be you or your person. As I looked further, clarifying this person with emotional depth, maybe a lot of feelings for their other individual, they seem to be shrouding those feelings because of some unresolved wounds. The wounds can be related to this relationship, which I do get the indication of. All right. Hmm. What about this? The hermit energy. A lot of a lot of lack. Of, like there's, you know what lacks in this relationship is consistency in the flow. I feel that when you guys are able to get together and communicate, there could be a sense of taking off, but then all of a sudden there's a sense of withdrawing and whoa there's a sense of withdrawing and simply things going to shit once again but i'll tell you the chemistry between you and this individual is absolutely apparent what's going on here with the ace of cups why is the ace of cups here high priestess you see there's an immensity of emotions here being projected on your end aquarius but there's also a massive sense of disappointment here I feel that this desire to come together, to have a brand new beginning with this individual, is simply being shrouded in the depths of your very mind. All right. What's going on with... What's going on here with... What's going on with the, with the person that Aquarius is dealing with? What's going on with the person that Aquarius is dealing with? Three more shuffles. All right, we got the sun, and we got the hangman, and we got. Well, look, this individual, whatever sort of fallout you guys might have had, they've gotten over it. It seems like they're recovered from this. They already learned from it, or there's they're looking at things from a different perspective. This perspective has simply compelled them to find their independence from the situation. Okay, why is the sun here? The five of wands. Again, it says if they receive some sort of clarity here when it comes to the conflict that you and this individual were having. Three of coins. So I feel that this person is absolutely willing to work things out with you. All right, knight of coins. You may wonder where this individual is, but they're moving very, very slowly. I feel that the effort that they're putting forth is not the most hasty per se. They are, they are a bit reserved. They are wanting to do things right. They are trying to be wise in regards to their investment in the relationship with you. Talk to me about the hangman. Seven of Swords. They see where this relationship flawed. All right. Or they, they see the flaws of the relationship and the Wheel of Fortune. They're wanting to do something about it to turn this around. I feel that they've, again, learned from whatever mistakes were made. And this person is wanting to have a turn of events. What's with the nine of coins? Talk to me about the nine of coins. Why is the nine of coins here? The ace of wands. All right. The ace of wands. The hermit. Hmm. This individual here has broken off from this relationship. Again, they have broken off from this relationship and found an element of independence from it. 
All right, we got two nines. Nines are very solitary numbers. All right, we got the Hermit, which is card number nine, and we got the Nine of Pentacles, which is indicating that they are simply focusing on themselves. They've chosen a new direction. They've chosen a new path. Tell me more about their energy towards Aquarius. Tell me more about their energy towards Aquarius. Three of Swords. This individual is absolutely distraught over whatever has happened between you and them. And I feel that this atrocity has compelled them to simply withdraw and focus on themselves. Now, one thing that I want to note, Aquarius, I don't know the depths of what has happened between you and this individual, but I do note that you have refrained from being vulnerable and open with this individual. I'm going to get some more insight for you. But, you know, if you do have some deep feelings for this individual, maybe it'd be wise to open up. However, you guys know better than me. And you know why it is you're doing what you are and why you're behaving the way you are. Maybe you know, maybe you you deem it unwise to get involved with this individual and that's why you're refraining from opening up. And that's valid. I just simply wanted to note your invulnerability. Any insight here that wants to come forward for Aquarius? Mind you, I will be doing an extended where I'm going to deconstruct your individual. I'm going to look into their feelings towards you. I'm going to look into their actions towards you around this time, which who knows what that's going to be. I'm going to look into this individual's mind. I want to see what sort of future this person sees when it comes to your relationship. And I want to look into the near future to see if anything will be coming about between you two. Let's get two more shuffles and get some message. Any insight here for Aquarius? Queen of Swords, that's you. Four of Swords, Ace of Swords. All right, Aquarius, you're in a state of recovery. You're in a state of gathering yourself. I feel that like you're protecting your heart at this time. That is why you're in isolation. That is why you are simply not opening up to this individual. That's valid. And this is good for you. The reason why is because of the judgment. The judgment is a massive learning experience. All right, is one where you're taking a lot from, and it's something that's simply going to elevate you in regards to understanding. This understanding can come from getting a grip on lessons of the relationship or even understanding yourself and how to navigate yourself. All right, navigating your emotions, navigating your mind. There's something of significance when it comes to learning from the situation, and this is the process that you are under during this isolation. Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords. Ace of Swords plus the Nine of Swords is Ten of Swords, which is an absolute very difficult ending. And that's where you are. You're experiencing a difficult ending, ladies and gents, but know that you are on the brink of overcoming this and surmounting it. In fact, you're already there. The podium is there waiting for you. People are already cheering for you. There are other suitors there waiting for you, waiting to give you attention. You just simply have to embody this. You have to step into this energy of success. But I don't see you there. I see you in the moon energy. I see you lost in your own goddamn mind ladies and gents however understand that this lostness is simply temporary all right right now you are meant to go within yourself take a break protect yourself guard yourself nourish yourself learn and grow all right know that life fluctuates and in due time you may be down but you will be back up I'm taking this to the extender, ladies and gents. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, Aquarius, it's a pleasure, and I will see you guys next time.